There is one question every investor must ask before they invest. How can we get the highest return with the lowest amount of risk? We call this risk-adjusted return. My advisors and I believe that value-add real estate can give the highest risk-adjusted return of any investment. Disclosure, West Rock Equinus members do not provide investing legal tax or accounting advice. This is for informational purposes only, and this is not an investment offering, and you should consult your own advisors before engaging in any transaction. Weston, what is value-add real estate? Value-add real estate is pairing renovations with organic market growth to outpace traditional investments. But there is a certain way to invest in value-add real estate. This helps us avoid mistakes and make higher returns while doing no work, just providing capital. It's called private real estate investing. In private real estate, you partner with an experienced operator who does all the work renovating and operating the properties you invest in. Most of the money the operators make comes from the back-end sale, not from fees. This highly incentivizes them to perform for their investors. On top of that, they often invest a significant amount of their personal net worth alongside their investors. This creates an alignment of interest with investors. So why private real estate? Private real estate offers protection of capital if you find the right deal and you structure it correctly. It offers high velocity appreciation if you pair renovations with the long-term growth of the market as a whole. And I like pairing renovations with the market growth just because I don't want to rely on the market, which can go up or down at any point. Um, we, just, we just like renovations because we have more control over the price of the property. And so if we can increase the rent so we can increase the value of the property and then sell for a profit and exceed projections. Um, it offers a high alignment of interest if you structure it correctly with the operator. Um, the number one factor is how much net, how much the sponsor is investing their personal net worth in the property and then also the fee structure that they have. So we want them to be incent incentivized to perform, um, perform the property and get paid on the back end rather than just from fees. Private real estate offers cash flow growth long term. You know, if the you know, if the market does good, of course, there's always risks in investment, just a disclaimer. Um, it offers low volatility and it's not correlated with the roller coasters of the stock market. It offers tax benefits and depreciation and 1031 exchange, and you can diversify in multiple properties. How private real estate investments can outpace traditional investments. If we pair organic market growth with renovations and operational upside, we can exceed projections for investors. Operational upside by improving management. We can do this if the old operator had a bad manager or they just hired some people to manage the property. We can bring experienced managers into the property and improve management, which makes the tenants more happy and more willing to pay a higher rent price. We can buy in a market with high growth, such as Phoenix and Dallas, um, some of the two biggest markets in the country, what we're investing in right now. Um, so we pair organic market growth with renovations which will dramatically boost returns. So here's a little bit of how we protect the downside. So we want to work with the right operators who have experience with the asset class we're investing in and the market that we're investing in. So for example, this year we worked with an operator who specializes in value add multifamily. So they buy the property, they renovate it, and then they sell for a profit. Uh, we want to see that they have experience in the market that they're investing in. So they're not a new player in the market. Um, we want to have we want to see a track record on their end to reduce the risk for investors and basically have a rinse and repeat process with the sponsor that we're investing in. Um, we want to see that they've done this multiple times. We also want to use low leverage to have more equity in the property, more cash, um, just to protect the downside if a recession happens. Um, there's always risks and we want to protect that as much as possible. We also want to see from the operator that they have a consistent ability to renovate properties on schedule and on budget. We want to see a high debt service coverage ratio, so we want to cover the loan very easily, and we want to see a low risk break even occupancy. What this means is we can see how many people can leave the property and we can break even on the cash flows. Here are more ways we protect the downside. We want to purchase properties with below market rents with loss to lease and renovation premium. Our goal is to buy with at below market rents and raise rents to what the comparable properties are. So we don't want to reinvent the wheel and charge what other properties haven't achieved yet. 
we want to just buy at what below the market rents are and just raise it to what the bar the bar already is with the comparable properties we want to see a market with population growth and diversified job growth where we invest uh, we want to see we want to have significant reserves or cash reserves at the property level if anything unexpected goes wrong we just want to have cash in in order to fund something that goes wrong in the property and that's the ways we protect the downside so here's what we look for in operators we want to see a track record in the market and especially the asset class they're investing in uh, we just want to see you know experienced team that we're that we're investing with we don't want to invest with any new players in the market or the asset class we want to see transparency in their reporting we want to see an alignment of interest um, basically this means sponsors heavily investing their own money into the same project and they're also incentivized on the back end of the project so they're incentivized to perform you know on their operations and construction and we want to see properties that fit our underwriting criteria so here's some private real estate tax benefits just a disclaimer i'm not a cpa so please consult your own advisors private real estate offers depreciation so basically passive losses offset passive gains this drastically reduces investor tax bills if you or your spouse qualifies as a real estate professional, you can write off against active income, and investors often pay little to no tax on cash flow. So, for example, if you make the same cash flow from real estate and a stock dividend, cash flow from real estate will be worth more after, after tax because of depreciation. And if you have any questions about this, please reach out to me. It, it also offers a 1031 exchange, so investors can reinvest into another property tax-free which further accelerates returns because you don't have a tax burden. Here are some reasons why people invest in private real estate. It offers an alternative to the stock market. It offers cash flow growth, depreciation tax benefits, and people want to invest in real estate, but they don't have time to manage everything. So for some people, it might be more important to focus on their own job or their own business and make more income there and then invest passively into these private real estate offerings. So here are some reasons why people don't invest in private real estate. And I just include this for transparency because I want people to be aware of everything that goes, that goes on in this. Um, private real estate is illiquid, so it's not like a stock and you can sell it at any time. It, you, you get your money back when, when the property sells or when the operator sells. It also is a limited partner investment, so basically you don't have control over the property. Um, this, is what, this goes back to what I said earlier about working with the operator and picking the one that um, aligns interests with investors. So it's really important who you work with in the space. So here's the final suggestions. Do your due diligence before investing and look at all of the information, not just one metric. So for example, invest investors only looking at IRR returns will not have a full picture of the deal. You have to look at everything from the operator to the market to the property itself um, in order to get a full picture of what you're investing in. So if you're interested, scan the QR code if you want to learn more about private real estate investing or click the link in the description. Thank you.